Have you ever thought about the hidden secrets that might be lurking behind your everyday social media apps? Snapchat, a titan in the realm of social media, has transformed the way we communicate. It's a platform synonymous with youthful energy and momentary snapshots of daily life. But beneath the playful filters and streaks, there lurks a darker side. A side that's seldom discussed, but is nonetheless real and at times terrifying. Snapchat, with its ephemeral messages and location sharing, has become a digital playground. Yet it's precisely these features that have paved the way for some truly disturbing incidents. Stories that would make your skin crawl. Stories that would have you second-guess your next snap. From the unsuspecting user to the unsuspecting victim, Snapchat has seen it all. So, are you ready to venture beyond the known, beyond the comfortable? Join us as we delve into three hair-raising true Snapchat horror stories. In our first tale, we plunge into the chilling account of a teenager named Jake, thrown into a maelstrom of confusion and fear when his best Tom vanished without a trace. Jake and Tom had grown up together in the scenic, tranquil town of Hemlock, a place which until then was famous more for its tranquility than anything else. Tom and Jake were more than just friends. They were confidants, partners in mischief, sharing every aspect of their teenage lives. From sneaking out to watch late night movies to sharing secrets about their first crushes, they were the quintessential pair of childhood best friends. Jake was a typical teenager, reveling in the simple pleasures of life. But one day, everything took a drastic turn. His friend Tom started sending him snaps. The snaps started off as usual pranks, the kind of shenanigans they often indulged in. Strangely angled photos, Eerie images with ominous writing were just part of their camaraderie. However, as the snaps continued, they started to take a darker turn. They were no longer playful. They were cryptic and increasingly ominous. Each snap hinted at danger, at fear, and at something far more sinister than their usual pranks. One snap showed a shadowy figure with the text, It's following me. Another snap was a close-up of a pale face, beads of sweat trickling down the forehead, with the caption, I'm scared. Jake felt a knot in his stomach. He tried calling Tom, but there was no answer. Then came a snap that made his blood run cold, and of an old abandoned house, with the chilling text, help me. The house, a dilapidated structure, stood stark contrast to the rest of the snaps. It was standing alone in what appeared to be a deserted area. The snap was eerie, it was haunting, and it marked the end of Tom's communication. Jake immediately alerted the authorities, but Tom seemed to have vanished into thin air. Police searched the town from top to bottom. They combed through the house, but there was no sign of Tom. His phone was discovered in a nearby field, but he was gone. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months, and months into years. Yet Tom remained missing. The once interesting snaps had now turned into memories, and the eerie house remained etched in Jake's mind. Tom was never found, and the mystery of his disappearance remains unsolved. The chilling tale of Tom's disappearance serves as a stark reminder of the unknown dangers that lurk in the corners of our seemingly safe world. Our second narrative leads us down a chilling pathway of obsession and terror. Nestled in the bustling epicenter of a pulsating city that rests for no one, a vivacious woman, who we'll call Jane, found herself ensnared in the treacherous web of a virtual predator whose ominous presence began to permeate her everyday reality. Jane, a software engineer by profession, was a woman of simple tastes. She loved her morning runs in the park, relished her daily cup of cappuccino from her favorite coffee shop, and found solace within the pages of her favorite book each night. The sinister ordeal began innocuously enough. Jane started to receive snaps from an unfamiliar account. At first, the snaps merely captured mundane images like cityscapes and random scenery. Jane shrugged it off, considering it a common occurrence to receive friend requests from unknown individuals on social media. However, the snaps took a sinister turn, becoming invasive, intruding her sense of normalcy. The unknown sender began to share images of places Jane frequented, hinting at a disturbing familiarity with her daily routine. Each new snap notification set off a wave of unease, turning her once innocuous social media usage into a source of dread. Jane's unease escalated to full-fledged terror when the snaps began to display intimate details about her life. The sender knew too, knew things only Jane should know. Her treasured book that lulled her to sleep. The cherished picture of her childhood dog 
that held pride of place on her bedside table, the dream catcher that swayed gently on her bedroom wall. Jane, feeling violated and terrified, decided to fight back. She started documenting each snap, preserving them as evidence. She reached out to her friends and family, alerting them about her situation, and they rallied around her, providing emotional support and advice. She began researching online, learning about IP tracking and cybersecurity measures. The climax of this real-life horror story occurred one dreadful night. Jane received a snap of her own house, taken from the outside. A house that was supposed to be her sanctuary now felt like a prison. She immediately called the police, providing them with all the evidence she had gathered. The authorities traced the account, and after a relentless search, the stalker was apprehended. He was an obsessive man-man who had transgressed boundaries to interrupt Jane's life in the most invasive way possible. The man was arrested, charged and sentenced, but the mental and emotional scars inflicted on Jane were indelible. This spine-chilling account underscores the dark underbelly of technology and social media, highlighting the paramount importance of privacy and security in our digital existence. So, as we traverse this interconnected cyber terrain, let's stay alert, protect our personal space, and remember, we can never be too sure who's lurking in the virtual shadows. Our concluding narrative invites us to cross the threshold into the otherworldly realm. Imagine the scene. You and your closest friends huddle together, faces lit by the eerie glow of a smartphone, the only source of light in the dim room. You're all waiting for the familiar pop, the notification of a new snap. But this snap isn't a routine message from just anyone. It's from a friend who has taken a final bow from the stage of life. This is the spine-tingling situation a group of friends found themselves in. Receiving digital echoes from the Snapchat account of a companion who had recently departed. The initial snap was brushed aside as a tasteless joke a vile trick orchestrated by someone who had the keys to their friend's account. It displayed their departed friend, beaming, in a place they all knew too well. It was their favourite rendezvous point, a location usually pulsating with joy now stained by the spectral apparition of their departed comrade. The snap was met with an amalgamation of disbelief, horror and confusion, the friends paralysed in attempts to make sense of this digital spectre. As days into weeks, the snaps kept invading their screens and their peace. Each snap was more disconcerting than the previous, their departed friend manifesting in varied familiar haunts. The friends were caught in a quagmire of fear and fascination. Could their cherished friend really be crafting these messages from beyond the veil? Or was a sinister entity plunging them into a cruel, psychological torment? As snaps continued to pierce their tranquility, terror morphed into a macabre curiosity. They began to retort, sending messages back into the digital void. But the only answers they received were more snaps, each one escalating in its eeriness and disturbance. The friends were mired in a persistent terror and bewilderment, their daily routines eclipsed by the spectral intruder that had taken up residence in their Snapchat. The crescendo of this tale was as abrupt as it was petrifying. One fateful night, the group received a snap from their late friend's account. This time, the image was not of their departed comrade, but of them, the group of friends huddled together, faces bathed in the glow of the smartphone screen. The snap was taken from outside the window they were sitting beside. A blood-chilling testament to their vulnerability. The friends were plunged into a state of shock, the icy reality of their predicament washing over them like a chilling wave. The spectral snaps ceased as abruptly as they had begun. The friends were left grappling with more questions than answers in their wake. Was it their departed friend trying to bridge the gap from the afterlife? Or was it a malevolent prankster playing a despicable trick on them? The truth remains veiled in enigma. But fact stands unchallenged. The spectral entity that had infiltrated their Snapchat left an indelible on their lives. It served as a stark reminder of their loss, a digital mirage of their friend that lingered even after the snaps had faded into the, the ether. The snaps ceased as suddenly as they had begun, leaving the friends grappling with a spectral memento of their loss. These stories serve as a chilling reminder of the unseen dangers that lurk behind the screen of our devices. We've journeyed through the dark corridors of Snapchat horror, from the disappearance of a friend to the threat of an unknown stalker, 
and the spine-tingling presence of the supernatural. These tales, disturbing as they may be, underscore the importance of maintaining our vigilance in the digital realm. In a world where our lives are increasingly intertwined with technology, we must remember that not all that glitters on the screen is gold. What appears as harmless fun can quickly turn into a nightmarish ordeal, as our stories today have shown. Let these stories be a beacon of caution, illuminating the potential pitfalls of social media. It is not to scare you away from these platforms, but to encourage a more mindful use of them. Stay safe, stay alert, and remember, not everything is as it seems in the world of social media.